Fellas, what's one thing you've learned from the Troiki program that you like in a non-academic sense? Oh, yeah. ah, thanks. It's summer here in Elmhurst, and while some cathedral prep students are on vacation or at the beach, classes here are still in session. For 46 years, the Father Edward Troiki Summer Leadership Program has become a staple at Cathedral Prep. It's a four-week program for boys in 6th through 8th grade in which the prep seminary students serve as counselors. I think Father Caroli and the other priests want us to become leaders because we're the future and, and they're, they're relying on us to be more Christ-like. My own vision as the director of the program, this being my first year, is to have the counselors really take ownership of the program. Uh, that they become the leaders of the program and that I'm just simply the moderator. It gives the students here a different side of how things work. Like you're normally in the desk and you're listening to the teacher work and you always have the aspect that you're a student, but then working the Troiki program, you're more of the teacher. You have students watching you, so you have to be careful what you're doing and basically whatever you do, your students are going to pick up on it and they're going to follow it. They've helped us with our projects and stuff and they're just, you, you could, become friends with them. Nobody's going to exclude you or anything like that. Being the head counselor, you're, you have to be a lot more proactive. I didn't know how much work it was going to be, but now I'm doing a lot of um, like behind the scene work to make sure like, the gym's clean, chapel's clean. You have to make sure that your counselors are doing their work. You have to be available to the teachers when they need something, but then you have your own work that you need to make sure you get done as well. The theme of this year's program is The World Needs Heroes, featuring Jesus Christ as the ultimate hero. We need to make something that's fun for the kids. So it said, superheroes, everybody loves superheroes. And once we saw that, everybody just took it and it made perfect sense to everybody. Each sports team is named after a superhero team, like the X-Men or the Avengers, and the classrooms are nicknamed after superhero headquarters. Each morning I give them kind of like a word of the day uh, that describes what a leader and what a hero is. What makes them a hero? My favorite superhero is The Flash. He has a lot of hope. Wolverine is from the X-Men because he's strong by himself. But when he's with his team, he's even stronger. The Hulk, and it's because he's strong. And it also relates to real life because God needs strong people out there who could stand up above all the others. And hopefully when they leave this program, they realize that the teachers and the counselors and the students here at Cathedral Prep are also among those that they consider heroes.